getting through and what isn't, do we think? Well, there's hundreds of bills going through Parliament at the moment. Some of, some of them cover mainstream issues like prisons and bus services. Others deal with the more obscure things like bat habitat regulations, for example. Now, there's six major ones which have reached the ping pong stage where they're going back and forth between the houses. Uh, the Higher Education and Research Bill is one of the big ones at this stage, and this will only get onto the statute book if concessions are being made. Now, Theresa May, it appears, is already having to compromise on things like taking foreign student numbers out of immigration totals. So this is where the opposition really have the whip hand at the moment uh, because they can shut things down that the government really wants to get through. Now, the digital economy bill, that deals with ticket touting and the level of the BBC licence fee. It's another one at ping pong stage that will be able to get through if concessions are made. Now, there's other bills that haven't reached ping pong yet. Uh, the criminal finances bill is a major one. That deals with corrupt wealth and terrorist financing. That's back in the Lords next week and will still be able to get through if parties agree. For others, though, well, it looks like it's the end of the road. The prisons and courts bill and the local government finance bill, they're two which look like they'll bite the dust and will have to be restarted next Parliament. I mean, the Tories, um, I think they're going to win this election, otherwise they wouldn't have called it, and they think they're going to win big. They may be right or may be wrong, but that's what they think. So why do they need to rush some of this through if, they, if they're confident they're going to come back? Can they not just pick up from where they left off? Well, some things are time critical, like getting permission for university fees to rise in time for September. But what's also important is that for bills, even if they're almost fully formed, if they have to go through all the faff of being restarted next Parliament, well, then they're also going to be fighting for space with Brexit legislation. Now, a lot of the negotiations for this will go on behind the scenes over four days next week. There will be pressure for the government to get things through, but also the opposition don't want to be seen to be standing in the way of useful legislation just because of a point of detail. So we've got this wash-up period for four days next week and we'll watch and see what happens. All right, Emma, thank you very much uh, for that.